We are all about fresh fall produce. Today, contributor Jana De Laurentiis knows how to put it all to good use. She's in town actually for this weekend's New York City Wine and Food Festival. Jana, yes, good morning. Hi. You are cooking tonight at the festival. I am. I'm cooking tonight and tomorrow night. So is that a lot busy. of pressure, or is it just good fun? Well, tonight's a little easier because I'm making mufaletta sandwiches. So you can make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them in advance, which is great. Tomorrow night's a little more pressure. Okay. Yeah. We, we have a couple of dishes today. We're very excited. The first is a pork chop. It smells divine. Tell me about the ingredients first. Well, well I don't choke on the balsamic vinegar. Yes. <laughs> um, so these are pork chops agadolce. So a little sweet and sour sauce on the pork chops so mm. it keeps it nice and moist. I get them at about one to two inches um, in thickness, the pork chops, to keep them nice and moist. Mm -hmm. Some pomegranates just for decoration, a little butter, balsamic vinegar, because what I do is I make a little glaze, which you can kind of smell right here. All right, how did you do it? This will get through your cold for sure. Yeah, exactly. Balsamic vinegar, thyme, and garlic, and then honey to sweeten it and okay. thicken it a little bit. Let that cook down for another yep. like three minutes All right. together. And then you finish it with cold butter. Now it has to be cold, why? Because it thickens the sauce. So that's and the trick. And room temp wouldn't do it? No, okay. it would not. So that's what you want to do because it basically um, will just melt faster and thicken the whole thing. Okay. So when it thickens, then what we do is, in the meantime, yeah. we're gonna season some pork chops. Mm -hmm. And you said you like pork chops, right? I love pork chops. You just did salt and pepper, nothing that's fancy. It. No. You do both sides? Yeah. I'm going to okay. salt and pepper them. Okay. And as long as the grill's nice and hot. Yeah, that was my next question. Yep. As you can see. And I put a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. Not a lot, because the more olive oil you put or more fat you put on it, yeah. the more it's going to just basically cause a bunch of um, steam and heat. And okay. So you're just going to basically cook it about five minutes per side. Okay. And then once you flip it, you start to glaze it. Okay. So you don't want to you don't want to glaze it yet. You want to flip it and glaze it. And then you just glaze it for another five minutes on the opposite side. Yeah. And look how gorgeous it looks. It's so great. So you do you glaze okay. and then take it right off? Yep. And okay. go right like that. Now that and looks serve some more glaze on the side. There's only one thing we need to do, and that's to ask our taste the testers downstairs. Mm. Oh. I have to say, it's I delicious. love uh, pork chops are my mm -hmm. absolute favorite. Can you hear them? They're, See, they're if going you like it's delicious. I missed the bone. You like it. I missed the bone too. I missed the bone. I didn't give you the bone. I don't know right. why. Because the bone's the best part. The bone's the best part. You want to try? And the, of course I do. And the oh, you can put a little glaze on it. Well, yeah, just to make sure it stays nice and moist. Because sometimes pork chops get to get they tend to get a little dry. It's nice. It does have that. It's kind of fragrant almost. Sweet but also has a bit of a bite from the balsamic vinegar. Can I say it did cut Sweet through sour. my cold just a little there bit? There you go. You guys you can like taste it, right? This. Mm. Yeah. I yes. feel like that you can taste. Okay, next dish is a perfect fall dish, farro. Yes, so this is all about mushrooms and leeks, which is what you find at the farmer's market. Yes. Tons and tons and tons of them. So all these mushrooms, you put leeks in a pan, you heat them up. I already browned the mushrooms, mm. as you can see. Dump that in there. Yep. And farro is a grain, kind of like rice, but it's got wheat in it. I like how you said it. Wheat. Farro. I farro. Say farro. That's why it's, it's called a farrotto, because oh. it's like a risotto, but made with farro. Okay. So you toast that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we add some white wine, just like making a risotto. Okay. And then you let that cook down for a minute. And then in, to kind of cut down time, yeah. I like to add the broth, the warm broth, mm -hmm. a little bit more than just a cup at a time. So that way it doesn't take so long to cook. Now are you calling this a, a side? Because I think this could be an entree. Well, this, this can be an entree, yeah. Okay. But it can also be a side with the pork chops. Yes. You know what I mean? And my restaurant, this is an entree. Okay, great. Right? You know, you can also serve it as a side. So it cooks down and it ends up looking like this, like All a right. risotto. Any tricks? Because I know risotto can be kind of tricky in this, terms of this, not getting it overcooked. You, this you cannot overcook. All That's right. the great thing about using farro, and it's better for you, really, because yeah. it's got more uh, fiber in it for mm -hmm. you. Uh, Parmesan cheese and a little bit of pecorino, a third a cup of each. Yes. Color yes. with some frozen peas because I love that. And finish it off with a little bit of butter. So lots of butter Beautiful. in this. Beautiful. Taste testers, how do you like the farro? The farro. Oh. Oh. It, it gives it such a nice bite. It's and good. I like that chew. Oh, it's man. Delicious. Yeah, it's Delicious. It definitely has more of a chew than a risotto. Okay. Yeah. I love it. I'm going to dive it's in, It's very Janet. fall. It's very fall. Folks. It is very fall. It feels very like so fall. cozy. Jada, thank you so much. She's going to stick around, actually, and answer our questions on Today Food Facebook page. And you can get a recipes, recipes at today.com. <laughs> Hope to see you this weekend. <laughs> Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.